So you're waiting for interest rates to come down. So is everybody else. Now is the time to buy. If rates go down, housing prices are going up. And Melissa, why is that? For every 1% drop in interest rates, there are 5 million more eligible buyers that are going to come into the market. And with limited inventory, what do you think that's going to create? That is going to create a housing price surge. So if you're waiting for those interest rates to drop, guess what? So is everyone else and they want to take advantage of it. If you could purchase a house for $500,000 at a 7% interest rate, but you decided to wait for rates to come down, let's say they came down 0.75%. But in that same period of time, housing prices went up and you had to pay 550,000 for that house that you got at 6.25%, you'd still have a higher monthly payment, $80 more a month than you would if you had purchased that house at 500 at the 7% interest rate. And if you did buy that house when it was 500,000 and rates did come down, you could refinance and capitalize on the lower interest rate. But if you had to wait and pay 550 for that house, you couldn't go back in time and pay 500. So should you wait for rates to come down? I think not. Who are those 5 million home buyers? Those are the millennials. They're having babies. They're ready to get into their starter homes. This is Melissa Brew with Melissa K Properties. Reach out, subscribe. Here's my contact information right here. Let's get you moving forward today.